be here no more, but ghosts never die. So over the past year, we've been speaking about Tariq and how we've seen the rise of Ghost through Tariq St. Patrick. And ironically, Ghost Never Die was something he said in the final episode of Season 1, which could have meant many things. I gave my version of events of how Ghost now lives through Tariq and how we're seeing Tariq in essence become this different version of Ghost, just like Joseph Sikora teased. He even said to Tommy, hopefully when we meet again, then maybe I'll be worthy of his name. And I'm going to come back to this at the end of this video. So in this video, we're going to have a look at Tariq and Ghost's story, how Ghost could help Tariq in a hallucination scene, how Tariq was looked upon as an innocent kid in season 1, and how he used this to his advantage. But now that advantage is now dead and gone, because he's going to be looked upon as an adult in season 2. And we're also going to run through a quote from Michael Rainey Jr. on why the true meaning of Ghost Never Die will be revealed in season 2 of Ghost. So this is going to be a bit of a character analysis where we're going to break down some parallels, past events, theories and storylines for Tariq. So stick with this video till the end because it will paint the whole picture of Tariq's character in a different way. But of course if you're new to the channel and you haven't done so already, then remember to smash the subscribe button if you want to see everything Power Book 2 Ghost and Power Universe related. Now some of you may or may not have seen the interview or read the quote, but this is what Michael Rainey Jr. said on the Ghost Never Die quote. He said, you're going to see the true definition of that line. That's going to unfold this season. I hope they, which is us, the fans, take away how crazy this stuff is and how heavy we're coming. We're coming in hot. So I just hope everybody is ready. So we're going to learn the true definition of what Ghost Never Die means this season. And I think that's because we're going to see Tariq become his own man. He's going to go through a lot this season, which is going to make him grow up very quick. For example, some of the teasers and images that we've seen with Tariq with a black eye. And this is something he definitely needs because it's going to toughen him up. He's going to go through some hard times with his relationships with Dinah, Effie and Lauren. He'll have no choice but to trust Davis McLean and Cooper Sacks when he's under investigation for the whole death of Jabari. And on top of all of this, there's Yaz going into foster care, Monet trying to keep Tariq under his thumb. So it definitely will be a challenge for Tariq this season and he'll have to tap into different versions of himself to try and navigate through life, navigate through college and navigate through the streets. But let's just take it back for a season for a moment and rewind it back to season 1 of Ghost where it was clear that Tariq was becoming just like his father Ghost. We saw Tasha telling Tariq that he's just like his father, Simon Stern also reminding him of Ghost as well as Uncle Gabe who's never even met Tariq before. He said that he reminds him of his father and hopefully he's going to make him proud. With Tariq in denial on each of these occasions telling him that he was nothing like Ghost. But as the season went on we saw a lot of parallels to Ghost and Tariq. For example how Ghost tried to get rid of Holly giving her a bag of cash with new identity and Tariq doing the same thing with Epiphany in Power Book 2 Ghost. The bloody shirt on Tariq symbolizing Ghost from the very first episode of Power, how Ghost wanted Holly out of the picture for Tommy and how Tariq wanted Riley gone for Brayden, keeping Brayden in the dark about situations just like Ghost used to do with Tommy, yellow sneakers coming after Tariq just like Ghost had pink sneakers coming to kill him in the first season of Power, Trey coming behind Tommy with a gun to his head for Ghost and Monet doing the same thing for Tariq. And of course, something that I'm sure we're all going to be seeing across season 2 of Ghost as well, Tariq looking at himself in the mirror, just like Ghost used to do across power, because Ghost was in essence going through an evolution of his character, and in essence we're going to see the evolution of Tariq's character, and that's why we're going to find out the true definition of what Ghost Never Die really means, and how it's going to unfold this season. Now we all know we're going to see a hallucination scene between Kanan and Tariq, and there really is only one reason why Kanan would be appearing in Tariq's hallucination at that moment. It's because he's probably going to have to smoke someone and he'll have to make the man's move. But could we see a hallucination scene of Ghost? And why could we see Tariq having this hallucination scene of his father? Tariq is going to need help this season, there's no question and no doubt about him being totally isolated this season with no Tasha, no Tommy and no Ghost. And I went through the troubles that Tariq is going to have at the beginning of this video. And with every problem, there's always a solution. You just have to find the right solution, even if Tariq has to sacrifice someone to save himself. This is the game, and Tariq is going to have to play it. Because in this game of power, he's going to be surrounded by people who have absolutely no reason to help him, unless it's in their best interest to do so as well, which is taken from the 48 laws of power. So let's see if Tariq understands this, because as smart as he is, he's going to be faced with a lot of complex situations. For example, who he can really trust and depend on. He's had a lot of mentors in the past and he's learned from people like Kanan, Tommy, Ghost and Tasha. With Kanan being the biggest one out of all of them I would say, because he's had the most impact on Tariq, he loved Kanan more than he did Ghost. But he's taken traits from all of them, just like how Tasha said Tommy's a killer, Tariq said so is he, which is when Tasha realised the monster that not only she created but all of Tariq's mentors created, 
but that's just one example out of many. But the one problem that Tariq is going to need a solution with and help with is this whole Jabari murder investigation. So could Ghost appear in Tariq's hallucination by guiding him on how to beat this case? Because Ghost is someone who also faced a murder charge of Greg Knox, but we saw him fight and beat the charge with Proctor and Terry Silver's help. And this whole situation that Tariq's going to be in is going to be completely new for him. It's something that he's never faced before and he's all alone. So he'll need the help of other people that have been there in that situation. Hence why we're going to see him seeking help from both McLean and Sax. Now the advantage that Tariq had in the first season was that he was still looked upon as this innocent kid who grew up with a drug dealing father and a mother who's in prison. We saw Kyrie trying to be his counsellor, Tamika looking at Tariq as if he was this innocent kid even though he admitted that he was the one who shot and killed his own father, telling Tamika that he's not a monster. With the innocent look, which we all very well know, Tariq is definitely not innocent and Jabari trying to be this father figure to Tariq, with Tariq telling him that he doesn't know who he is because he'll do anything to protect his family. He killed his own father to protect Tasha, he even killed his best friend Kanan to protect his family because it always comes down to him, his family and a gun. And this is why this innocence phase is now dead in season 2 because Tariq has also accepted who he is and who he's becoming and he's also going to be looked upon as more of an adult and treated like one especially by law enforcement, Carrie when she uncovers the truth about Jabari's death and Davis McLean when he represents him. So just like we heard Michael Rennie Jr tease that we're gonna see Tariq become his own man and how we'll have to make the man's move in season 2. This is definitely the next phase in Tariq's character development but what I really would love to happen in Tariq's character development is this moment where we see Ghost appear in Tariq's hallucinations and guiding him and trying to put him along the right path again because we all know Kanan, he's gonna be doing the complete opposite. But coming full circle to the beginning of the video, how Tariq told Tommy that hopefully when they meet again, maybe he'll be worthy of Ghost's name. Will Tariq be worthy of Ghost's name by the end of season 2? Now we are going to see more ghost-like traits from him, no doubt, and we're also going to see some similar moves, just like we went through with the parallels, but we're also going to see some moves from Tariq which Ghost would never have made. And this is going to be the difference between the two, by the time Tommy and Tariq meet again because I do think they will meet, it's only a matter of time before they do because this is definitely an unfinished story between the two characters. But that's just a character analysis on Tariq St. Patrick before we go into season 2 and how we're going to learn the true definition of what ghosts never die really means. And I think it's going to be because we're really going to see Tariq unleash this inner ghost because this innocent look that we spoke of, that's in the past. So will he be able to navigate through season 2 and come out on top or in some sort of control by the end? Let's wait and see. But let me know what you guys think Michael Rainey Jr means that we'll find out the true definition of ghosts never die. So drop all your thoughts and comments down below in the comment section and if you did enjoy the video then please leave this video with a like and a thumbs up and smash the subscribe button as well because over the next few months it's going to be all things Powerbook 2 Ghost and then Powerbook 4 Force. But as always thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.